Laminar Airflow Hoods. Before starting this video subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon for updates. Let's start. These hoods also named as Biosafety Cabinets and Biosafety Hoods. To know about Laminar Airflow Hoods you must know about clean room and control environments. But in this video let's talk about Laminar as in Microbiology Lab Equipment. There are two kinds of hoods available in the market. Vertical and Horizontal. But both have same functions. For some critical testing and manufacturing of some critical drugs some hoods may have UV light to protect extra or prevent from contamination. Laminar airflow hoods consider as class A. They are used for testing purposes and some kind of manufacturing, like parental drugs and some kind of electronics too. Our member will show you the brand Clean Tech Laminar, its uses and functions. So, let's get started. This video is related to laminar airflow hoods, that is basically clean area, falls in class A of clean rooms. Use sanitizers and wear personal protective equipment, PPE, as per SOP, before entering into class B area. Class A surroundings must be of class B. Disinfect your hands before starting to your work under laminar airflow hoods or in microbiology lab. After cleaning your hands wear mask head covers and other PPE, means personal protective equipment, as per requirements. As you can see it is already written a precautions on this laminar airflow cabinet as, lab coats must be worn when working on cabinet. It will prevent from unknown contamination. As you already must know laminar or hoods come under class A. You can also see some functional buttons available for fan, light etc. Now, wait for 3 minutes before starting work and while waiting clean the laminar airflow with the help of 70% isopurple alcohol or any other suitable disinfectant. Now, after applying disinfectant, I'm using the absorbable tissue to clean and soak the surface, we can also use lint-free cloth. This laminar airflow hood doesn't have UV light. Because, there is not a requirement for pharmaceutical non-sterile products testing even not for sterile. Here UV button you see, is used for normal electric light. Here it is written on laminar airflow chamber that this unit is designed to meet ISO 14644 one air cleanliness. Another one is, on the unit before 3 minutes of use. Overload work is not a requirement or good for this laminar airflow hood. It must be certified annually. Its model number. That is, KTLFC42. These are PVC curtains, and these PVC curtains are important to control cross-contamination. Class A surrounding must be of Class B. Here is a tip I'm going to give you, that, if you are doing a pure culture work, like harvesting the culture, culture maintenance, reconciliation of cultures, streaking work, and some other culture work. So, you must not do the sterility test under the same laminar air hood, as, here are the chances that, you may face false results, of sterility testing, it has two sockets. 
you can see. And, I use these sockets for other equipment like, vortex mixture, and filtration assembly etc. So, these are some basic details of laminar airflow for freshers and fresh microbiologists. These are the basic things that nobody will tell you, but these are needed. Here is a magnetolic gauge, which measures in unit, inches of water. It can also measures in pascal unit etc. So, here it shows 0.27 mm, and that is in limit. It is calibrated from outside source annually along with the certification. So guys, I really enjoy working in laminar airflow hood. As, it is safe. Thanks for watching this video. Please do like this video and subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.